Okay, so this is going to be a spoiler-free review of Did You Hear About the Morgans? Now, I haven't watched uh, the other the two uh, movies that, you know, romantic comedies that Mark, whatever his name is, made with uh, Hugh, Hugh Grant. So, I don't know, but from what I can tell, they're a lot better. Um, yeah, you probably already heard, it's not that good of a movie. I, I don't personally think it's as bad as, I mean, currently it's got like, you know, I don't know, a ton of um, ratings won on IMDb. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's that bad. It's it's just bland. We've We've seen it before. And here it just isn't all that funny. Um, I'd say at least half of the jokes and gags fall flat and don't really, you know, it's which is not. I mean, I did laugh at it. It it has some funny, even a little bit of charm and a few sort of sweet moments. And that yeah, that's just kind of it. You know, it's 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 average. Um, I, um, I, I usually find Hugh Grant fairly funny, and, um, here he's just not, you know, there's a few moments where what, where it works well, but, um, I know, a lot of the time it, it doesn't really work. I'm not entirely certain what it is that's off, um, Delivery, comic, comedic timing, chemistry, something, something is off. And it just, it, it sucks a lot of fun out of the, I mean, they, they've got a ton of really good conflict, um, and they just don't really utilize it well. I mean, they, you know, it's, it's it's hit and miss. They they don't always they they go for the punchlines, but the punchlines don't always work. And um, but but yeah, I mean the the basic uh, you know it's it's your average run of the mill odd couple fish out of water, and then with the you know city versus country romantic comedy and. Um, you know, where the two leads are forced to be together and in an area that they're not used to, um, in, in spite of the fact that they were, you know, having some trouble and they weren't planning to be together. It honestly reminded me somewhat of the proposal, and I enjoyed the proposal much, much more. Um, you know, there are very direct, apart from the whole city versus country thing, I mean, Mary Steenberg and, uh, plays a very, um, yeah, a pretty big part in both, and, um, But, but yeah, you know, that one had believable drama that you could get into, and um, the characters were fairly fleshed out and interesting, and, um, you know, it just, you didn't like everyone, but you had an opinion about everyone, well, many of them, and here it just, it feels too stereotypical. There's just not that much. Yeah, the the characters just don't have. I mean, there there's some some of them have personality, but there's just not an awful lot. Um, they're not all that fleshed out. I do think it's nice that it is going for you know the more straight traditional romantic comedy, somewhat with you know, the humor isn't about humiliation or pain, and, um, yeah, that's about it as far as 
the positive goes, I'm afraid. Um, I'd, I'd rather rewatch the proposal. Um, and, um, you know, if you somehow have an option between which you want, I, it, it, the proposal probably isn't running in any theaters uh, at this point. Um, but, I don't know, if, if you need some movie to bring a date to, I suppose you could do worse than this one. Um, but if you want to watch a good um, romantic comedy, I you know find one of the classics and you know Pretty Woman, that's you know still works. Or the Proposal, if you want one more recent.